and welcome back to Whatcha Cooking Fast, Fast Forward. Forward. All right, Leon, this is the first time you're joining us on the uh, you know, episode where we are in SSI Kitchen. Mm. So when it comes to the word fast forward, what, what's your idea behind it? What do you think about? So actually when we came up with this concept, it's because we are now in phase two mm -hmm. and people are working and they have less time to cook. So basically what we want to share with all of you is our recipes. Lah, but basically you can recreate at home very, very quickly so that you can have a nutritious meal in your own home. That's right, so I have all my spoons in hand because today, the recipe has all the measurements that you need and most importantly, it's easy to replicate so don't get stressed up, like, share and comment if you have any questions in mind, comment right below we will have that answered in the episodes to come Now mm. today, we have someone very special lah, huh? Yes All the athletes know her and yes. everybody loves her <laughs> Yes and, uh, who is she? She is our very famous Auntie Dolly. Yes, so joining us right now, I'd like to take the chance to introduce you to our athlete, life mentor, Dolly Love. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Wow, Thank Dolly, you for say hi to everybody to <laughs> in the camera. Uh, you are definitely a familiar face to many people in the house when it comes to athletes in the national teams. The viewers, they might not have seen you much because you're always behind the scene. Today, you're coming on also with the mask <laughs> over here. Uh, because we've got some messages to share, lah, right? So, That's right. Uh, what do you have to say to our viewers over here? Uh, regarding the precautionary measures? Sure, share with them. Oh, well, you can see that I'm wearing this face shield, and I think it's important. Um, and for athletes, when you're traveling on public transport, remember to wear your mask and to disinfect your hands regularly or wash and to observe your social distancing. Wow, very motherly, lah. Okay, so. Uh, you know, this is the first time meeting you in person. I heard so much about you, how loving you are. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your story, and how you actually became known as the uh, Auntie Dolly in the eyes of the national athletes. Oh, okay. Um, like back in 2014, I was asked to be a parent volunteer, and uh, I just was so eager to do it because uh, my children have actually benefited uh, from the society. And so when that email came in, I was like, all right, I'm just going to contribute. So it went. So I came to um, the athlete center every week, once a week for two hours, just to mingle with the athletes and to get to know them. And that was like a, a build up towards uh, Sea Games in 2015. Um, I remember when um, it was held in June 2015 Sea Games, and I was here every day. And when I went out to support the athletes, I realized that there's just this fire in me. Like, wow, I just want to be there to see them. Uh, you know, through the thick and thin, through the ups and downs because when they win, uh, you know, when they are victorious, they'll be all very happy but there are moments where they almost make it and they didn't, almost made it and they didn't. Um, that's the time where, you know, it's good to have someone there just to, um, you know, to tell them it's okay, we've done our best. Let's move on. I think that's you know? a very important message. Even in a time like this, in you know, where uh, you know certain circumstances are occurring around, around our environment, and and we need that emotional support. It's always good to have someone positive to be around you, share the message from a volunteer to mm. truly falling in love with the national team, and then coming in to support them as an athlete life mentor. This is what we're talking about. Real passion, isn't it? So we know that your son is a national sailor, right? Yeah. And that was how you come on in. So because of that, we're going to impart you more recipes so that you can create super meals at home. So Leanne, what is the theme for today? Today's theme is one pot cooking. Well, you always uh, one person yeah. eat, la, one, <laughs> one style, la, one pot. La. Yeah, one. Okay. one so pot style. personally, when I cook and especially when I'm in a rush, la, I find it very troublesome to use so many pots and I'm a very lazy person therefore when I cook I try to use as, mi as minimal equipment and utensils as possible so no need to wash, correct? Nah? Yeah, <laughs> less things to wash <laughs> Yeah. So today's theme is uh, single pot cooking so I'm going to cook an, a meal in just one pot Today, we present to you what's the title of the dish? Sesame oil uh, mi sua Chinese? Ma yu ji mian xian. You see, must give her the Chinese version, then she say very fast. The English version, she have to think for 20 seconds. <laughs> so we're going to introduce you the ingredients. I'm mm. going to test you now, okay? Now, first one, what is this? Looks like black fungus. Black fungus. Alright, black fungus, correct? Correct. I thought seaweed, no? Uh, you Alright. This one? Wolfberry. Wolfberry, go mm. chi zi, huh? And then this one? Dried mushroom. Dried mushrooms. This one? Um, the water that she soaked it with the mushroom, mushroom water. Clever lah, hey, Auntie Dolly. I thought sesame oil eh. <laughs> sesame oil, oil is yeah. it. 
This one? Ginger. Ginger, very good. Carrots. Carrots. Of course, the miswa. The miswa, which is the mm. main of the day. And the protein. The wow, chicken. She knows lack of protein. Eh. Yeah, no all mothers know a little bit. Uh, fathers just eat. La. <laughs> <laughs> fathers eat only. <laughs> like me, like that, just eat. La. Okay, yes. uh, chicken drumsticks this is what we're going to use today. Any reason? Uh, I find that because we're going to simmer the dish for a little bit, so about 10 15 minutes. So if you use chicken drum, it tends to retain the moisture a bit better. And with the bone, la, uh, it actually tastes better. Okay, so with just the, the yeah, with yeah. just the meat, it tends to dry out. Chicken breast also can if you like to eat chicken breast. But just add it a bit later, la, maybe. No, we need to sear the chicken a little bit. Oh. You just have to uh, cut it such that um, it's a little bit thinner mm. so that it doesn't have to simmer so long. Okay. But we want to simmer a little bit because we're going to use um, Chinese cooking oil, so hua tiao jiu. So you want to cook to evaporate the alcohol. We just want the taste from the hua tiao jiu. So you will cook, I'm the papa ma, so I'll eat, right? Mm. Alright, so today you learn and uh, that's how you say Chinese cooking oil. Is it oh. Salah, sorry, Chinese cooking wine. Ah, see, sometimes the mind and the mouth are not <laughs> yeah. connected. The Wi-Fi disconnection. Okay. Because this is a Chinese dish. So today, I speak Chinese, I'm more soon. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's hua tiao jiu. Hua tiao jiu is good. Okay, now we are going to learn. No, 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 no. It's too much. Too much. So, uh, what's the first step that Dolly has to do? Okay, so first we are going to uh, stir fry the ginger for the mm. aromatics. Yeah, but let's wash hand lah since you're here to advocate hygiene, huh? Mm. We wash our hand again. Lah. Let's go. Come. Okay. Very quick one. I wash already, All so right. I will so just wash. wash. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on meat uh meat medium heat, heat level. Yeah. Medium heat level. So uh, let's so put in two tablespoons of the sesame oil. So two ooh, it smells so nice. I love sesame oil. I love mm. uh, sesame chicken by the way. It's one of my favorite dishes. I can just eat one whole pot by myself. So let's mix the okay. oil around, huh? Uh, mixed already and it feels a little bit warm so we can put in the ginger. Okay, can, like can hear the season. Spatula. It's a spatula. Spatula. <laughs> Stir fry for about a few minutes until you feel that the, you can smell the ginger. Mm, and that is Dolly impression. Ah, with our team. Big smile. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's the next step? Next step, we want to put the chicken in. So we want fast. to, yeah, we want to sear it a little bit. Oh. So I left some of the skin on so that you know um, some of the chicken fat can go in, and then it will have a little bit of that uh, aromatic flavor. Wow, I can smell the ginger. Yeah, oh, the ginger very is very fast. So it's time for so the Dolly, chicken. Let's add the chicken in. Just pour it all in. Don't worry. Uh, it won't splatter. If it splatter, you got face chill. That's why <laughs> today she should cook have. this time for the <laughs> way. Yeah. Ah, you can see the chicken going in. So how do we know how how, how much? How do you know that it's well shit? Um, once the surface looks a little bit cooked. Oh, lightly brown lah. Mm. Ah. Dolly, what kind of cooking style do you usually adopt at home? Uh, do you do more baking western style or do you also cook certain types of uh, you know, Asian cuisine? Oh, I'm not into cuisines. Um, like, I mean like whatever I cook, I try to make it healthy at home because ah. my boy is an athlete. Oh, correct. So I ensure that, you know, that he has um, the balanced oh. meal, carbohydrates, protein, mm. bit of fat, mm. lots of fiber. Wow, you must look at the audience so that they can oh, see how yes. beautiful you are. You see, <laughs> well maintain the hand style also like Korean model. <laughs> Korean ah? Yeah, wow, super. Chicken come to me, I'm hungry already. Okay, uh, now that the brown, huh? surface is a little bit cooked, mm. we're going to add in um, all the other vegetables. Okay, so, so the Chinese mushroom. Mushrooms, then carrot? Yeah, carrot. Carrot. Okay, so this is how we. Have your hey mu er. So you can cook with your son together. Oh yeah, my son can cook too because uh, he has to travel, so he has learned to be uh, self-sufficient huh? and. Hey mu er, you can go. So the hey mu er will have his own liquid lah. Yeah, the hey mu er liquid usually not much taste. All right. Mm. So it just makes it a little bit wetter. Yes. And it's quite true because athletes they do travel a lot. That's why dietitians like Lian, you mm. assist them to you know plan or learn, teach them how to cook yeah and uh, okay. this one is a uh, this is the hua tiao, uh, this is the chicken stock sorry chicken stock huh? so yeah you can actually use uh, available chicken mm. stocks i find that the chicken stock can be sometimes quite salty so that's why i kept the mushroom water oh. because the uh, mushroom water also has got very strong uh, umami smell mm. because it's a dried mushroom la. oh so you usually want to turn the mushroom over uh, over how long uh, mm, i just put it for maybe 30 minutes to with hot water yeah soften yeah so 
I just use about 15 ml. So it's mm. supposed to be one cup of chicken stock, but I use um, 200 ml of chicken stock and 15 ml of um, mushroom water mm. so that it's not so salty. Alternately, if you're someone who tends to boil chicken bones, then you can make your own stock. You can use your own stock, yes. Right, la. But yeah, Singaporeans right. sometimes, our refrigerator always <laughs> underuse. Ma. So we can use the purchasable one. Yeah. And this is my favorite, Hua Tiao Chiu. Hua Tiao Chiu. We're going to use half a cup. Yeah. It's yeah. So we need to simmer it a little bit. So that the so does it go in now? Yes. So what else you going in? Ah? I was yeah. just wondering, um, if you do not have what else you at home, mm. what can we use? So if you don't have what else you, or if you want to cook for younger children who, whom you are not comfortable with alcohol, you can try using apple juice, uh, cause basically what we want is the fragrance from it lah. Turn up the heat to let it uh, simmer a bit. Yeah, let it boil first actually. Yeah, yeah let it boil. So you just continue to. Just give it a light. Just stir make so sure that, that nothing ginger. gets stuck at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do that. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay, we can one down like a hot dog chew the way down That's mm. right. So do, do we now allow it to simmer? Yeah, we want to cover and simmer. So if you find that like the liquid like not enough, right? Mm. Feel free to add more chicken stock or mushroom water. So it should cover just nicely above. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, as it cooks along the the water, we evaporate lah. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna simmer the pot now. So yes. we're just gonna close. How long do we, will it take for us to simmer it? Uh, about 15 minutes. So what we'll do now is we can prepare the miswa. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. let's go into the miswa preparation. Alright, so how much have actually changed before circuit breaker to circuit breaker period to now in phase two when it comes to communicating with your athletes and you know uh, what you do from day to day? Um, okay, before the CB, um, I was working, I came, I, I mean, I was physically here at the mm. athlete centre uh, from like 12 to 6, and or every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Then I would sit down th over there and just chit chat and um, ask how they are, you know, to ensure that they're okay, to mm. see how they are. I mean, there are athletes that are from very young age, teenagers, right up to uh, mm. adults. So uh, that's what I would do. I would interact with them and just see how they are doing. Some are injured, so you just how they, how they have progressed. Some mm. have even had surgeries and all that. So a lot so of moral support. Yeah, exactly. Support. And there was this uh, inter physical, I mean, like personal interaction. Like I can see you, so you can kind of read a body language and everything. Uh, so when it came down to CB, um, uh. I was very pleased that my boss, Mark Richmond, he said that, mm. well, you can work from home. And, you know, basically my job is to reach out to the athletes. So we had we had, we have Zoom, mm. and then we have house party, and then we have, like, Instagram, we have WhatsApp, we have FaceTime. So, so these are all the online digital apps, yeah. and then suddenly everybody digitalized. Yeah, that's right. right. So initially, uh, it was a little bit of getting used to, because, um, you know, the athletes were also trying to get used to not training, and they did a lot of Zoom training training at home mm. so and now how is it uh, right now I think slowly they have like according to different sports they've slowly gone back to training and yourself has you have you felt like a huge uh, transformation that has set in over the last few months oh uh, well I think there are pros and cons of this uh, circuit breaker um, the athletes probably feel that they have been uh, called I mean, like they didn't get a chance to really train, so they feel that their fitness has actually uh, fallen, and you know they are quite unsure. How does it feel like? You know, if like, they were to go back to like play basketball, you know, they may have lose lost touch. Yeah, but I get some hot water while you're ex yeah. But having about said this. that, so do I continue? Yeah. So by having said that, um, they have always they have been very diligent in training at home. So they have like team training, Zoom training, where they all come together, and. And they train. And actually, we had um, a Team Singapore athlete, a former Team Singapore athlete, uh, Benny. He actually conducted a free full body strength conditioning training wow. every Wednesday, where athletes from all sports, we all came together, 6 o'clock every Wednesday. Um, I think at one time, we had actually athletes from nine different sports. Wow. So we all came and then we did a workout. We get to know each other before um, the, the training. So that, you know, like, they at least get to know from other people from other sports. Wow, so that's really cool, right? Because, you know, mm. uh, we, we probably have never thought that there was a chance for all nine different sports to come together and the digital era allowed us to do that and get mm. to know each other. Okay, so uh, how... So we just sorry, added uh, hot water. Huh? Yeah, we added hot water to this mian xian. I just put hot water, I put the mian xian in a bowl mm. and then I just put hot water. So you actually softens already. Yeah, it cooks really quickly. Mm. So you just have to soak it for like a couple of minutes and it's cooked. So all you need to do Empty the water or take it yeah, out. Yeah, or take it out. So it's really this easy. So wow. you see? 
cooked nice, already. Nice one person, one person. Yeah. Mm. So then we can. How you can empty the hot water? Yeah. So this is boiling water, lah. Yeah. Just be careful. Uh. So at this point, right? Usually, what I do is I put a uh, one teaspoon of sesame <laughs> oil to. Ah uh, yeah, I want to you know show people how to cook it properly. Okay. Yeah. So, so one teaspoon to the mian sen so that it doesn't clump. Oh. Because this dish is a. Uh, you know that the heating kind of dish, pian pian zhe one ah. Mm. So we use the ma yu la as the main, uh, easy oil. Easy or not, mm. Dolly? Very easy, huh? Just yeah. tong 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 chow yi xia, and then just. I yeah, think a lot of times the preparation. Tong. Once you prepare everything, it, it gets easier. Mm. This one is wu berry. What I did is basically just soak it in cold water. Wu berry me? Wu berry. Ah. This is very good for the eyes, but sometimes you don't have to cook it for so long. Otherwise, the nutrients are. Get so you damaged. just soak it in water Cold la. water, yeah Cold water. See, it plumped up already Yeah, and it's really quite good to just eat it Because it's very good to for source For eyes uh, yeah. berries are really good for eyes yeah. Alright, so we have the mi sua and the goji zi already plated mm. Everything is well simmered About yes, 15 minutes Yes, it, it looks fast. cooked Ooh. Wow Can you weave the fragrance? Mm -hmm. Your shoe got four gout or not? <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's turn it off I think okay. we can dish it up already Let Dolly Thank you. beat us today la. Yeah oh. Okay, first we dish up the chicken. chicken. Yeah. Then some veggies. Wow. Get the sauce going. Can't wait for my son to learn this. Yeah, it's quite You know, uh, thanks to SSI, um, he actually learned um, how to cook from nutritionists from SSI. Wow. Um, you know, in this very kitchen, he was asked to come here and then they had cooking classes for him. So I just want to, um, yeah, that was like, it got him started. With cooking, so uh -huh. thank you, SSI. It's done, well yeah. Well la, it's really the easiest thing to cook. So before we step into the break, let's have a quick try. I'm going to taste the, the, the sauce first. Xiao Xing Tang, oh. Auntie Dolly, you want a spoon? Oh, you know, it's a wen wen the kan jue, wow. And the sesame, because the way, you know, usually when we cook sesame chicken, it's very thick. So the sauce is not really that drinkable, but this one with the mushroom Quite light, water, yeah. it's right. very light. Let me try. Your, your face shoe. <laughs> oh, oh, look at my shoe. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let me let me assist you to you remove the face shoe and pass to me. Oh gosh, uh, but uh, this face shield is so comfortable. It's so clear, right? You don't even and realize it's so comfortable, it, right? you don't realize it. We it's bring quality products to the show. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to you, lah. Come. Like yeah. kampe, kampe. Right. Ah, wow. Okay, let me try. It's really good, really good. I mean, you can taste the sesame oil mm. and the hua tiao jiu. You mm. know, you can actually, like you said, like it's drinkable. Mm. Mm. Very umami. Oh. Okay, so you know, with the first <laughs> recipe done, we will be joining you guys back very shortly for recipe number two. So stay with us right here on What, what You're Cooking, cooking fast, fast Forward. forward.
and welcome back to What You Cooking Fast, Fast Forward. Forward. So we just had an amazing sesame chicken, heartwarming, tummy warming, uh, you know, mee sua noodle lah. Huh? So how do you feel about it? It was really good. I mean, I mean, like on a cold, like cold day, you know, when it's raining, it's really a good dish to have. Fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What is the second recipe for today? Second one is called a creamy soup pasta. So wow. basically, I'm instead of cooking the pasta in a separate pot, I'm gonna cook. All in one pot. Okay, let's dive into the ingredients right now. So first up, we have the... Pasta. Spaghetti. Pasta, spaghetti. Can I use other types? Do you, what kind of spaghetti do you like? Oh, well, I usually use the normal spaghetti. Oh. Just read how long it takes to cook the pasta. So this one's about 8 minutes. So later, after we stir fry everything, we'll let it sit and cook for 8 minutes. Okay, and we have baby asparagus. This is called the thin asparagus. I find that it's not so fibrous, so easier, easier to prepare. Because now it's about saving time, right? So wow. this one, all you need to do is wash, cut away the ends. Can Chop. we just see it like that? I don't think it'll be very tasty now. Oh, shimeji mushroom. mushrooms. What, what's it called again? Shimeji mushrooms. Shimeji. Yeah, it's Japanese mm. mushroom. Um, the aromatic, so we have the onion. Onion. Ginger. Uh, not ginger, garlic today. Garlic. And our protein for this dish is chicken. Uh, are you a chicken lover? We had two dishes of chicken, right? Yep, it is. Yeah. I then um, how I'm going to make the, the pasta, the creamy style, I'm going to add milk. Okay. Instead of cream, okay. uh, we'll add chicken stock so mm -hmm. that the whole dish is a little bit more flavorful. And then just oil to stir fry the chicken. Sorry, I've got a question. Yeah. Can you use low fat milk instead of. Of course. Okay. But mm. I find that uh, with full fat milk, it's got a little bit more. It's a little bit creamier. Yeah. Like warming up the pot so that we can uh, sear warm the up, chicken come. first. Right, Dolly, warm up. <laughs> Exercise, come on. <laughs> warm up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Dolly is so shy and warm up with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, evenly spread across the pot area. Yes. What goes in first? Chicken. Okay, like. You want Dolly, to sear the chicken. You know the drill. So is it warm enough? Yeah, Hot enough? Can. Okay, good. Okay. Let's have the chicken in. Oh, I like that sound. Yeah. I always like the sizzling sound of food when it goes in. Right. So today is uh, olive oil. So are yeah. you an olive oil user? Or you use yes, it? I am. So you generally cook with olive oil or so? Yeah, that's right. You know right. the benefit? It's got high in omega-3. That's good for the heart. Wow, she know that. Oh, you got watch our episode. <laughs> <laughs> olive oil more mono-unsaturated. Oh. Fatty acid. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. After the chicken, do we wait for you to cook already and add other things or? Yeah, we just want it a little bit golden brown. But uh, because this is a non, uh, this is a, not a non-stick pot, so just make sure it doesn't stick at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So if you have a, a relatively deep um, non-stick pan, mm -hmm. you can use that as well. Okay, let's come closer to take a look at the chicken. Ah, you can just see Dolly's hand very smooth. Ah. So I'm gonna add the aromatics. Okay, onion. Yeah. Can I drop in the garlic for you? Yes. So, um, I know some people will ask, like, you know, some people will put in the aromatics first. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Yeah, but I prefer to put it uh, after. No, there is more. Yeah. Be so that the garlic don't become overcooked. Oh, so you like oh, the I slightly see. more. I don't want it to get a bit of chow ta, you know. Okay. okay. I like it like that. Mushroom then, always last? Because mushroom cook very fast, right? Yes, but this is the shimeji one, it's a bit thicker. If you, take the, if you use the inoki ones, which are the thinner ones, you will put it in after we simmer the pasta. Because mm. that one will, will cook so long, uh, it will disintegrate. Okay, so mm. which so one in first? Together. Okay, together. One, two, three. Tung, oh, sorry, tung. Uh, together, but I went first. Never mind. So we want to cook until the vegetables are a little bit bright. Mm. Anyway, now we can smell the asparagus a bit raw. Yes, you can still have that light okay. early flavour. Then the pasta, no need to boil one. Ah. No need, later we'll cook it together. Now that it's becoming a little bit more bright, eh? you can see just now the colour a bit dull, now a bit brighter. Yeah, right. So don't worry about it being undercooked because we're going to simmer it later. Everything will be cooked. Okay, come. Let's okay, add so in the let's stock. Let's add in the stock. Wow. Oh, so this is what's going to cook the pasta later on. Mm. All right, I'm going to bring up the temperature a little bit so yeah. that it heats up a bit faster. So do I need to simmer it, no need? We just you wait for it to boil. It? Okay. To let it boil. Uh, yes. It's okay, the induction is very fast. Okay. Uh, this induction, amazing. Now <laughs> we upgrade the kitchen, not like uh, previously, huh? Uh. We have to wait for 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it becomes 25 minutes too late. See, almost boiling already. Mm. Yeah, so very fast. Because this pasta is long, yeah, the chicken wow. stock smell comes up. Okay. This pasta is longer than the pot, we'll break it in half. Oh, also it's good for children also. Lah. 
Yeah, yeah, lah, basically. Can you hold for me, please? Can. Your hands clean, huh? Of course, I wash already. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Breaking into her so that it fit in the pot. So if you had a hard day, always remember, carry positivity and then exercise. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <Ta -da -da>. oh. <laughs> okay, come. I have always been clumsy on the table. Uh, um, now that it's boiling. Oh, I can see how it's done actually. Yeah. And also because of the the, the pasta, it's a little bit starchy by nature. So it naturally thickens the mm. sauce base, right? Yes, that's right. Then, mm. huh, that's all. Eh. Cover ah. and wait for 8 minutes. Voila, so we just uh, wait for you to see us. It's the time of Ah, uh, I have a question, Lian. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just before competitions, um, I remember I usually cook pasta for my son because I believe that it's low GI. What so, GI? glycemic index. Oh. So, um, is it true so that at least it stays? I mean, that the glucose level in the blood doesn't just shoot up, so it maintain. I mean, stays in the body longer. Pasta is not extremely low GI. Like we we take reference lah, the highest the hundred the score hundred lah, like hundred percent right. full marks for GI is um like white sugar or white bread. Pasta is probably still 80, 90. It's not particularly low, but uh, pasta is a carbohydrate sauce for athletes, so it's actually okay. Wow, wow look at that! Wow, I How want to stir, I want to stir. I never get to stir today because Dolly did all the work. You can see the pasta is very wow, nicely al dente ah. You can mm. see. Okay, then we add a bit of milk. Okay, Do you so want me to turn? No, that no need, no need. Because, because the, the milk, milk is cold. Ah. So once it goes down, the sizzle will stop. Ah. The milk must come to a light simmer. I turn the heat down a little bit. Because we want we want light simmer, like a little bit of blub, 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 blub around. But we don't want it to be um, boiling too much. Otherwise, the milk will curdle. Okay, so now that it has blub, 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 blub a little bit, so light simmer. What I'm going to do is... Um, Dolly, can you help me turn off the heat? Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in some okay. um, grated parmesan cheese. We'll just let the cheese melt in this. Oh, so this is how you thicken it. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Then we let it sit for one minute. Okay. So That's the when the cheese. sauces all get absorbed in and it will be nice and thick. Fantastic. So, um, you know, Dolly, you as a mother of a sportsman, all right, and I know now as the famous aunt to all the national athletes over here, um, what are some of the advices you want to share, where especially for them stepping out to training, or what are the things you wish for them to look out for now that they're all coming back to the training arena slowly? Oh, okay. Firstly, um, you know, all the precautionary measures, don't get so excited, um, especially when you see your friends, you know, still remember to keep a distance, a meter, having a mask on, and, um, you know, wash your hands. And also, like when you're training, uh, do remember to bring your recovery food because you don't want to eat um, like two hours later after a very hard training. And this is something that I've learned from the nutritionist of S SSI. Yeah. Okay. And now, one minute has passed. Okay, Actually, we're ready hungry. to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> ready. So, come on in, camera. Let's take a look. Wow, you can see, huh? The cheese is still right, but just above. Do I, do I need to stir or not? Ah, it's okay. We'll no use the ha, tongs to stir it, it in. Yeah, it's hot enough. It will melt in. Okay. It will just. So you get the nice bowl. I get the fast to eat bowl. One question. Yes. Okay. Uh, what kind of other cheese? Um, you know, we can use mozzarella. No. You can. Okay. Mozzarella tends to be cheddar. Also can. I like parmesan because it has got this nice salty taste. Okay. So it's a bit soupy. This pasta. Also, again, nice for a cold day. Yes. Mm. Okay, let's dive in. So you get the nicer bowl. I get the next bowl. And did only remember? Oh, how should we learn? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. See? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so cute, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but it's so good, lah. Smells so good that we want to dive in. So I'm gonna try the chicken. I almost went ahead. <laughs> Wonder just come, bring the camera in. Look at this one. Bon appetit. Yes. Of course, if you like it thicker, mm. feel free to add more cheese. Mm. The mushroom and the pasta combination, amazing. Yeah, it's really good. You get a nice saucy flavor. Any yeah. descriptions that you want to throw in? 
Uh, no, not really, but it's just a good idea. I can actually tr- try doing this at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I so think it's very good for athletes who are living, like, when they're training overseas and they uh, you know, have to cook for themselves. So most of, one of the complaints that I get is that they've got no time to cook. And then if you can cook it in one meal, and I'm sure nobody likes to wash dishes like me, and there's just less things to wash. Mm. It's much, so much convenient for them. Yeah. yeah so while we are enjoying this, we will be back with our third recipe in a short moment's time. So stay tuned right here with us. <laughs> and welcome back to Watch Out Cooking Fast, Fast Forward. forward. <laughs> Alright, so um, just behind the scenes, uh, Dolly actually asked me whether I was an athlete myself. Uh, and I mentioned that actually I was uh, originally in the school sports team for sprint canoeing and dragon boat. Though you cannot see it now, like, everything gone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Talking about dragon boat, well, this t-shirt I'm wearing uh, is a gift from the dragon boat girls wow. uh, for Mother's Day. Wow. So I just want to say thank you girls. Why my 
team never give me t-shirt. <laughs> Maybe cannot find the size. Uh. <laughs> yeah, lah, XXXXL. Eh. Because it can fit. Nah. Yeah, they, now I'm wearing curtains, you know. <laughs> but, you know, because of that, uh, and we're always going uh, you know, on a fast meal, what's unique about Fast Forward is that we have bonus super fast recipes every single episode. So mm. now, we're going to take a chance to dive on into what we have on the table. Uh, if you are someone who wants to enjoy a nice, solid beverage, what do we have? Today, I'm going to share with you Virgin Mojito. Ooh. It's a drink la, that you can impress your friends. You know, when they have gatherings, then instead of taking out soft drinks, you have, oh, I have Virgin Mojito. Oh, <laughs> so it's a nice name. It's a mojito. Yeah. Right, uh, Sounds you, classy. Do you take mocktails? Not really. Not really. So today, we're going to teach you a very simple, it's actually one of my favourite uh, mocktails. It's so refreshing mm. and very nice. So what's there on the table? The Virgin Mojito has got really simple ingredients. So mint leaves. I thought we had some heaty dishes ready, so a uh, mint leaf to cool us all down. Let me show you the mint leaf. Lime okay. juice. Lime juice. So I squeeze some lime juice. Okay. I made a simple sugar syrup. So, so basically, it's water and water and sugar, half half. Half half. Yeah. One so question: mm. Any kind of sugar? I used white sugar. Oh, simple okay. sugar syrup. You can use less of the sugar syrup in the drink. Yeah. yeah. Tra- uh, in traditional style, sometimes they just grind and mix the sugar with the base yeah. liquid first before they. Because it's up. a cold drink, so you want to dissolve the sugar first. Mm. Okay. If I put sugar in there, then the sugar won't dissolve. Okay. That's right. so sugar and then um, sparkling water. Okay. So I'm going to move into the steps. Um, so mint leaves. So on average, la, one person about 10 mint leaves. Oh. But uh, if you like it minty, up to you. I like really. it minty, la, so yeah. I think Me too. more. Because yeah. sometimes so I feel that it lacks la, sure, and it's not I'm minty. just going right. to roughen it up a bit so that the so smell that the comes, out. comes yeah. out. Yeah. So the most important thing is you always grind the mint leaves so that yeah. the, the aroma comes out. That's right. And comes then it fuses the into the soda water, right? Yep. And, and then. Like then ice. The lime juice. Here I've got the juice from two limes, mm-hmm. but roughly for two persons, is per person, la, it's mm. two tablespoons of lime juice. Okay. Lime juice. So now we're making for three, four. Uh, two to three lah. Okay. Yeah. Then the simple sugar syrup. Uh, again for one person is about two lah. But if you don't want it too sweet, I'll just put three yeah, today. Yeah, one is good for us. You yeah, know. Yeah, one, two. What if you do not want like the real sugar? You can use brown sugar, but your drink will become a little bit brown lor. Uh, what about yeah. ag- have you heard of this A G A V E oh, kind ag- of sugar? Ag- Agave. Yes. Agave. Um, that's a different. Type of that's like a nectar sugar, also can, but it's a bit brown, also if I'm not wrong. Okay. But yeah. the original mix of a uh, virgin mojito comes mm. with a little bit of sugar. In. Yeah. Uh. So you just use a spoon to break the leaves up a little bit, okay. so that all the smell comes out. Oh, that's quite simple so far. For the non-virgin version, so I understand that some people use uh, gin mm. or what's that? Is it vodka? I can't remember. I can't remember because I generally rum. No, mm. I generally don't take uh, alcoholic drinks often. Mm. Okay, so here I've got one cup of sparkling water. So that's about for two persons. Actually, I like s- uh, soda water because sometimes when we crave for sweet drinks, not really so much so because you want a sweet drink, but we like that cooling effect of a yeah. carbonated feel when you, yeah, you know, have right. it down. So soda water because it's sugar free, mm-hmm. so I always think that it's a good alternative. So I do have this very often at home. La. And then okay. as much ice as you like. Ah, I like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ice. This okay. is my cup. That is your cup. <laughs> Alright. I mean, and you then can see that she has really done some, Lian has really done some nice uh, lime cutouts to garnish it. Yep. Yes, some Good little presentation. wedges. Mm. And then done really like that only. Wow, so this is really a super fast, less than five minute drink. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you can make a big batch. That's why I say when your friends come over, look so atas, you see. see yes. And the mint leaves, you can consume them, it's fine. Yeah, you, you can don't also. You really have to remove it. Mm. Alright, so I had a lot today. So I let you enjoy the carbonated water. I just have a sip sip. Alright, so uh, cheers, with everybody. the mojito in hand before we cheers for this episode, um, thank you Dolly once again for joining us. Huh? I never call Auntie Dolly throughout the whole show because she doesn't look anywhere close <laughs> to her age, isn't it? So before we cheers for this episode, anything you want to share with our fellow Singaporeans, any positive messages that you want to send out uh, oh. as we are here on Watch Your Cooking? Yeah, just stay safe, 
and live in the moment. Live in the moment. Stay wow, true words of wisdom. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching us on Watch Your Cooking. Remember to like and share. And of course, here's a big cheers, cheers. to a brighter Singapore. <gasps> Again. <laughs> <laughs> And again, let's uh, cheers without the mask on to, to a brighter, brighter Singapore. Singapore. See you. Bye.